Aww, Geek, Geek Out! Out! Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we'll be talking about She-Wolf by Rich Tommaso out in comic book shops everywhere and on Comixology on Wednesday, November 16th. <laughs> uh, published by Im- Image Comics. Jake, what do you think? Well, um, anything about werewolves will get my attention. Um, and because I, you know, I think we had talked about this before, you know, for werewolves being as big of a thing, there, there's, I don't feel like there's as many werewolf things as, as like vampires and zombies and, and other type of famous horror monsters. And so, you know, I'm glad to see something, you know, keep the werewolf, uh, trope <laughs> around sure. and, you know, this, you know, I like stylized art and, uh, you know, it's it's interesting. It's it's you know because again, he's Barry Windsor smithing this. You know, he's drawing it, he's writing it, coloring it, um, coloring it. All the colors all the do come into yeah, yeah. Kind of has this watercolor feel to it. Chopping down the trees and making the paper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Very Paul Bunyan of him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, again, it's 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 not what you necessarily might think of werewolves, like the big, you know, kind of like you they're know, not hulking. hulking. I mean, they're werewolves. they're they are big. They're big, yeah, but I mean, they're not like the, you know... <laughs> like jacked. Jacked, yeah. They're not jacked <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> Bodybuilder werewolves. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it's cool. I mean, again, and it, it's focusing, you know, on this girl and, you know, it's... it's kind of a coming of age story yeah. wrapped up with a, you know... Say, and it ties, like, 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 what is it, lycanthropy? Lycanthropy. To, yeah. to like, Satanism and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, there's... Which I hadn't really seen before. Like, I just, I don't know, I just love anything werewolf. It's just that uh, werewolf over zombies, over vampires, over mummies. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, for uh, my father's favorite universal monster is the wolf man. Mm. I know you're an invisible man kind of That guy. is true. I just talk so much about werewolves and invisible man's favorite. Have, that being said, have you seen the Alex Ross prints oh, you're yes. doing lately? Oh, my God. It's, yeah, they'll be available for sale next year. I know. And it's funny because, <laughs> like, they have the invisible man. He's, like, pointing. Yeah. You know? And if you look close, because he's not as prominent, you know, obviously not as prominent as some of the other big ones. He's pointing and his robe has moved up just enough to show no forearm, which is so cool. Sweet. So it's probably the easiest he ever had to draw <laughs> anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, the thing I like the most is kind of the, uh, the more surreal nature mm-hmm. of it. Because for the first like issue, you're like, is this real? Is this, I mean, I guess it, I mean, you'll find out. I don't yeah. want to spoil anything. And it also comes out at a perfect time, you know, like, you know, Halloween-esque, you know, obviously it's coming out after Halloween, but, but in the same, you're in this fall spirit and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The nights are still longer. Days are still shorter. Yes. Yeah. Trees are becoming progressively more skeletal. I always like that time, this time of the year. Yeah, me but, too. But yeah, um, yeah. So again, uh, She Wolf by Rich Tommaso, uh, published by Image Comics, out everywhere on uh, November sixteenth, and on Comicsology. So definitely check it out. This has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know we've got a new commentary every Monday. We've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.